Good morning. It's my birthday, guys. Woo, 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 woo. 21, eh? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Got that just in time. Cheers guys. I never understand these little coffees. What do they do? Is it just like pure coffee? I slept well. I slept really well. I woke up once at like two-ish, I think. For like, oh. Hello. Guys, I've got to show you something. So this TikTok, this TikTok that I got tagged in. Oh my God, I've got to show you it. I cried so much and I'm not going to cry again. Even though it's my birthday, I can cry if I want to. To be rejected doesn't mean you should also reject yourself. You may not be the right fit for something or an experience. Doesn't mean it's like anything to do with you. Rejection is often the universe leading us into a different direction. See rejection as guidance rather than loss. A rejection is nothing more than a necessary step in the pursuit of success. So, be yourself, don't change who you are or what you believe to try to fit in and make people care. Just be yourself because you're amazing and those who love you will always be there. When you realise that someone is sitting there editing that and has like spent time Oh. Okay, so this is the <laughs> this is me fruit bowl. Okay, cool. We've got coffee, pastries, orange juice. Lovely. I thought the fruit bowl would be a bit bigger, or am I just being really picky on my birthday? I'm about 15 minutes away from home. I've got Miranda Hart playing. I've got pastries, fruit, coffee on my birthday. What more could I want? Oh, I love the little moo. Moo milk. Oh, it comes out his mouth. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. I call with our friends. Do you drink things in my Interestingly, over the last few weeks, Polly has tried different tactics to get Adam to... I picked up the wrong toothbrush, my travel toothbrush, thinking it was a travel toothbrush, but it wasn't. It's just another head for my electric, electric toothbrush. It's not focusing. So I've put it on the end of a, uh, a makeup brush. <laughs> Whoa. That is a massive head. Cute. Met the loveliest girl in that shop. She was so sweet. Um, so 
I went in Bailey and Sage. Now that is a shop. That is a shop. Um, but I actually, I think I mentioned last night, I actually felt like I had like a bit of a cold coming on, which is not ideal. So, and for me, touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. I rarely get like poorly, but when I do, it's quite dramatic, um, as you can imagine. So, I decided to get some fresh fruit, some blueberries, strawberries, and then I've got this hot shot, organic hot shot, apples, ginger, lemon, turmeric, and cayenne pepper, just to maybe sort out whatever may be brewing, but I feel 20 times better than I did last night. I felt like I was, I don't know, I felt like I was in some sort of like fever, fever dream. It was, uh, it was a lot, but I got loads of sleep, and yeah ready for my birthday <sighs> oh you know when you can feel it here love that i also got loads of like nuts and fruit and fiber because i'm a healthy girl and this is easy green raw cold pressed juice cucumber apple spinach lemon and ginger gonna have a couple of blueberries so, so good. And for lunch, I think I'm actually going to treat myself to the Fanta Nando's. See what that's all about. I'm going to go around my parents. See my little teddy. But yeah, apart from obviously drinks tonight, I'm going to take it quite slow. It's really randomly. Um, so there's a big main road that directs Wimbledon to where I live. And um, it's taking me to a little detour. And it's taking me past the place where my uncle this is called zadig and voltaire this is her undressed it smells so so nice sophisticated sexy it smells like a really like sort of sensual version of uh, palmer violet which i know can be a hit and miss scent and taste oh it's so weird when you see your birthday date on like your phone so um so yeah it's taking me a detour and i wanted to show you where my uncle used to have a pub which I spent a lot of my childhood in. Uh, my dad used to work there, my aunt used to work there, I'm sure my mum worked there at different stages. They used to actually have a house around the corner. Uh, it'd be nice to just go see where it is, because you know what I'm like, I love all this nostalgia. If I could sum up last night's movie, <laughs> this was it, a Lebanese cuisine now. But yeah, this used to be called uh, Winner's Wine Bar, and I said, like I said, spent a lot of my childhood here, running around, pretending I was in Hocus Pocus. <laughs> wow. So funny how like a place can like hold so many memories. Oh dear. Great, great childhood. Just came to the place next door called Raw Deli to get another smoothie. Went for the lean green, which is broccoli, spinach, cucumber, pineapple, mango, banana, and apple juice. Raw deli. Snoggies. <laughs> really nice place in there. Cute. Hello, guys. Nando's is here. Oh, oh. So I thought I'd do a little taste test of the new Fanta Nando's chicken situation. I know Fanta has done like a collab with Beetlejuice. I'm really intrigued to try like this orange chicken. Like, very strange. I also got the new cheesy garlic pita bread, which is, which I know is naughty for my tummy, but it's my birthday. Oh, I mean, it looks quite sad. <laughs> Let's give that a little try with the dip. Oh. Mmm, oh my God. Oh, wow. That is so good. I haven't had garlic bread in so long. Um, okay, so they're the skewers. They've got skewers now. And the wings. Oh, they didn't put the orange chicken in. I didn't order it. I didn't order it. I didn't add it to the basket. <sighs> I didn't order it to the basket, guys. <sighs> I mean, the, I got the skewers the other night when Matty and Jack were around. And they're so good. Oh my, I'm such an idiot. Dang it. Classic Mark. 
I can't believe that. Anyway, the cheesy garlic pita bread is divine. I can't recommend that enough. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, oh. Something's falling down. So it is after the devastating news that I didn't end up ordering Fanta chicken. <laughs> I'm heading round to my parents now. Oh, sorry, I thought it was a red light. I'm heading now to see my little puppy. I'm off to see my mum and dad. Obviously it's my birthday. I'm not sure if my sister, my sister's at work. Also, I just want to say PSA, my lip. Um, I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but I actually have a mole on my lip and there's a situation going on at the minute that I'm just trying to get like treated um, So don't panic if you think what the hell has happened to Mark's lip. You probably haven't even noticed, but it's just something I've I noticed in yesterday's vlog where I was a little bit like whoa my lip looks like it has been busted isn't it like going off like topic and I don't want to be bringing this up on my birthday because I'm in such a better place now when it comes to like my like, loving myself and all that sort of stuff. Isn't it so like interesting to see how much you look at your body and you analyze your body and your face 20 million times more than anyone else in the world. And it's just such an interesting conversation that I want to have more of because I don't know, especially with what I do as well. Like, I feel like I'm constantly looking at myself and like after a while I'm like, whoa, I'm starting to see things that I never noticed. That, and I definitely don't think that is a good thing because you get in your head about it. We love you Croydon, we do. We love you Croydon, we do. <gasps> oh, he, leave, he bought me a present on my birthday. Hello! Are you gonna sing happy birthday? Hello monkey, oh, what are you doing? Say hello to everyone! Hey. Thank you! Thank you! Did you want something? <laughs> Did you want something? You're gonna come up and open some cards, Ted. <laughs> happy birthday, love Teddy, she booped it. <laughs> Oh God, that's emotional. That's For my sister. Oh God, you're really trying to make me upset today. Where's dear Al Mark? That's Christmas. <laughs> All I love, mum and dad. Oh Teddy, where's the card from you? Little t-shirt from the parents. Life is a journey, it's got like mountains. Is that an indication that you want me to uh, climb a mountain? <laughs> so my aunt loves to put photos in, in our cars. And that's just the most random one. But this look, there's one of me and you, Teddy. Oh my goodness, looky, looky, look. Only me, oh, there she goes. There she goes, you're all right. These are my presents. Uh, excuse me? Are you thinking it's your birthday today? Are you thinking it's your birthday? Good girl. Ted, why do you look so sad? Is it Teddy's birthday as well? Is there something in here for Teddy? <gasps> Gently. <laughs> You're welcome, happy birthday. Hey guys, so I am ready for my birthday. I'm wearing this sort of like 90s boy band um, gilet, would you call it a gilet? I don't even know what you would call this. I haven't worn like black boots. These are the black boots that I kept from Monica's cupboard. Um, so yeah, this is my fit, birthday fit, what we thinking, sort of cash, sort of non-cash. But yeah, gonna enjoy tonight, I'm so excited to see some of my friends, see what happens, have a nice little news up, and yeah, let's go! <laughs> <laughs>